Hey everybody, welcome to Go From Green Living. My name's Daniel. And today I have a special video. <laughs> and I would say a special guest, but she's not really a guest. And you're going to be seeing a lot more of her. Her name is Root, and uh, uh, we are a couple. <laughs> and very soon you'll be seeing us making videos together, uh, you know, quite often, uh, very frequently. But today's video, her name is Ruth, by the way. <laughs> it's uh, it's spelled in in uh, Norwegian uh, R U T or in Hebrew R U T, and but it's pronounced like the root of a tree, you know, root, root. <laughs> so. And today's video is on plantain, <laughs> and plantain so uh, so medicinal. It's it's everywhere in the world, and I kind of think that's meant. For that to happen uh, because it is so medicinal but I'm gonna go ahead and let you get right into it with Root <laughs> and listen what she got to say and I know you will enjoy her uh, her commentary as much as mine all right there you go hi everyone um, I was just sitting here by the old road the new road is just behind me behind the green wall that I made but in front of me is the old road that was here before they built the new road. And I'm sitting here with my chihuahua and my coffee and my herb scissor. And I was thinking, I haven't checked yet, but I have a theory that I will find plantain here. Um, because I was thinking, as they were walking in the old days, you know, um, I'm going to show you how this actually works. Okay, here's feet. Here's me walking. <laughs> Imagine that this is kind of like the old days and you're walking on the road. Um, um, let's go back to Greece and uh, Rome. Let's go back some thousand years when the people were walking. They were walking by the roadside and the Greek doctors, they discovered a herb that they called the king side. Yeah. I actually passed several. <laughs> I'm going to tell you more about the king of the roadside. Um, so the king of the roadside is actually a herb called plantain. In Norwegian it's called grublad. And the, pl the plantain, the seeds, they were a little bit sticky, so they were sticking to the clothes and everything of the people walking on the road. And that's how it spread from Europe and, uh, and Asia to the whole world. So basically, plantain. They called it the king of the roadside because, let me turn the camera, okay so they basically grow everywhere. Now this is a tiny one and something has been eating on it. I'm gonna pick this little baby. This is actually a baby. So they call it in Norwegian Grublad because it's directly translating the healing leaf. The underneath of it extracts poisons. So if you get a snake bite or anything, you just put it on your skin like this. And that way it will extract the poisons. Now, when the wound is cleaned, you turn it around and you use the upper part as a soothing remedy. So the underneath is to extract, and the top part, hi Inspector James, yes, it's okay? Okay. So the upper part is kind of like soothing. Now, <laughs> the beauty of this is that these leaves, they work on your whole body, and you can use them throughout the blooming season. If they're babies or big, it doesn't matter. And you can use it for everything from the top of your head to your bottom, the bottom of your soul. So, souls. <laughs> so imagine what happened if you were walking down the road in the old days. Well, you could have been mugged, you could have been bitten by wild animals, you could have been uh, maybe hurt, bleeding, uh, maybe you got like infections in your body, maybe you got sick. Now this thing works for everything. Okay, so you can do it like, you can eat them, you can eat them fresh when they're small in a salad. Or you can boil a tea of them and let them steep. So if you want to use them externally, like I told you first, putting it on the skin, that's one thing. But if you take the water off it, you can actually do it for your scalp. 
if you have a sickness in your scalp. You can heal the retina on your eyes with it. You can have it in your ear to fight ear infections. You can use it in your mouth to kill germs in your mouth because it's antiseptic. You can gurgle it and have it to clear your throat. <laughs> it is good for the respiratory system and the lungs. Like everything in this thing is good for Corona today, which is interesting against the COVID-19 thing. Uh, it also purifies the blood. It's a blood purifier. Uh, also, it's good against like uh, leaky gut things, leaky gut syndrome. Like if you have anything inside your body that needs healing, this will help the internal healing of it too. And not only the the uh, the stomach area, but the digestive tract, like the bowels, it actually helps there too. The only thing, if you have um, Tarmschling, it's called in Norwegian, if your bowels are kind of like making a knot with each other, then you shouldn't use it. But you can use it against diarrhea. Can you imagine walking on the road again, having bad food or whatever? You can use it against diarrhea. You can use it against a uh, hard tummy. Um, but also, if you put it in your feet, in your shoes, let's say you're walking, like, okay, so here I am walking down the road. I'm barefoot, barefooted. <laughs> and let's say I get a wound on my feet. I will take this on the wound or I would put it in my shoes. So it's kind of like, this is like for everything. Uh, you can like use them fresh. You can dry them. You can um, use it for teas later on. You can make um, um, ton tonics with it. You can take the seeds and dry them. Uh, but you can also squeeze them, like make a fresh juice with them, with the leaves. So, the, the plantain is just so awesome. Like, it's everything you need, and it's right here by the road. So, you know, how can you not walk on the road and see these and think about the beauty of them? They're really like a medicine cabinet all in one. Now, they contain a lot of things. Um, I will post something on the comments below. <clears throat> But basically, that's kind of like just an overview about how they used it. It's been used in folklore all over the world. Uh, everybody knows about this. <laughs> they had a, a game with the children. They would take the stems of it and make hooks. And the kids would have one hook each and pull. And the first one that won, um, you know, breaking the other um, thing of it one like it is it's been used in I'm sorry I'm a little bit distracted my chihuahua needed some loving <laughs> how are you inspector James <sighs> yes so it is like commonly used all over the world I will post some more links but you know just sitting here drinking my coffee looking at my old road I thought I would share that um, no they come in all different varieties and forms all over the world they're they're kind of like bigger I guess than here because of the colder climate, but they're still as beneficial. And I believe that nature is adjusted so that wherever you are, uh, things growing around you is beneficial for your system. Like when you live in nature, the nature around you would be like with honey, locally produced honey is better for you and so on and so forth. So that's why I love, I love just learning about this thing and using them. Okay, I have a chihuahua <laughs> that needs attention. Hi, James. What are you doing? I don't think you can jump up. Oh, you did it. Good boy. Yes. So by that, I think we are signing out. Right, James? Do you want to say goodbye to the peeps? Yes. Okay. So with that, we are signing out. <laughs> How do you identify uh, plantain? And it's very easy. Plantain is very easy very distinguishable and it's just about the same over the entire earth so you're, you're hardly ever gonna um, miss uh, identify uh, plantain it's by these ridges the the ridges of the the, the ribs of the leaves that is run up the the, the width of, I mean the length of the, the leaves and they go all the way down to the stem and the, the bottoms of the stem are kind of a purplish color so it's very easy to identify these are our identify plantain 
and there's another kind it's the long skinny kind I don't know the name of it, it starts with an L <laughs> sorry but uh, but the dinner plate is the most medicinal for for what you want to want to use now I personally use uh, plantain uh, on a regular basis <laughs> because I get stung by bees and y'all seen in my other videos about the the allergic reaction to the bee sting it, it, is, it happens all the time now when I get stung by bee that area will get, get inflamed and you know uh, you know get real red and itchy you know start to swell so I take the plantain leaves and I chew up a chew up a uh, a wad of it you know it's just like like chewing tobacco like I never have though <laughs> Some people I've watched a few videos on on YouTube and and I've and I've seen people chew it up on camera <laughs> and then you know chew it up on camera and then put the pulpits on on their arms and stuff and then you know then it'd be like I'm not eating my tea <laughs> so I'm not doing that <laughs> I'm not doing that sorry <laughs> and then to make it kind of a pulpit and then I'll put it on. The bee sting. Say if I got stung on the arm right here, and we put it on the bee sting, and then I take one of these leaves and actually use it as a bandage. Uh, let me drop those two leaves down there for a second. Use a bandage to itself. Like that, I got stung there. See? Make a a bandage. Out of itself just by going through through the other side see very simple then then it holds on the puppets of and pulling out the poisons of, of of the bee sting you know because I don't want to have another allergic reaction I don't want it to get worse and that's making a bandage out of plain thing <laughs> if you get a rash or something you can you do the same thing in in every area you get a rash and you don't have to worry just uh, like Ruth said just use the the understand uh, Root has a follow-up video on on this uh, on plantain and and making essential oil out of it and and the seeds and and what the seeds are good for and all that. So uh, y'all stay stay tuned for that because it's going to be on Go for Green Living, <laughs> and I'm even looking forward to that. If you if you like having Root on there, please please give us a thumbs up, uh, hit the subscribe button uh, because you're going to be seeing a lot more of both of us and and. A lot more of both of us together <laughs> so you know there you go <laughs> all right guys i love you and i'll catch you on the next video uh oh yeah there's a correction i used to say oni obe ocha which uh means uh, uh you know just to one person that, that i love you uh it's supposed to be oni obe atin it means I love you all. <laughs> I love the audience. I love the audience. So, <laughs> so it's Ani Ove Atem. Another lesson Ruth taught me. <laughs> <laughs>